Hello everyone, Max at E Pianos here. Today we will be doing a walk around of the Korg XE20. Here's a 360 view of the keyboard. So in this video you'll get a lot better angles than you might do on websites. Um, and you'll get more in depth detail into what keyboard has and what each feature does and how it looks from all angles. So if we start from the left hand side here, going through the different buttons here, first of all we have the logo which is an XC20 digital ensemble piano. And then we have the on off button and a light to represent whether it's on or off so the minute it's on and if I was to turn it off the light would go out. Like so, turn it back on and it comes back on. Next to that we have the volume wheel with a nice groove there so you can see exactly what volume you're at which is great. Next to that we have a piano button which will allow you to swap between the two pianos and a style option to change the styles that you're playing for the accompaniment section and a reverb option which you can uh, have on your piano playing if you'd like. So those are these first section of buttons here um, and then above this we have one of the two speakers to the keyboard. These speakers do a great job. They're actually not as big as you may think because you can feel where the grooves are. And it's only about that big but what Korg have done is they covered it in this material which allows it to look a lot neater and tidier from the outside which I think is a great touch and the speaker on the right mimics the left so they're the exact same and something I really like is how this groove comes around here it sort of curves I don't know if you can see that but it tilts upwards it's got a nice matte black finish throughout very nice looking and we'll have a look at the keys it's fully weighted said the right hand mimics the left the right hand side mimics the left and then if we move on to the middle we have the main hub this the majority of these buttons control the accompaniment section that this keyboard comes with um, which is what makes this keyboard stand out compared to for example the p45 or the p125 so you have all these buttons that are light up in red or green to indicate uh, what options you've selected and then you've of course got this fairly large screen in the middle here which really helps let you know um, where you are and really helps you to navigate the instrument. If I was to press transpose you can see here it will actually show you what key you'd be playing in if you were to just press middle C which is really clever and helpful especially if you're playing in band settings with other musicians. It gives you lots of nice details for the keyboard there. You've got the wheel, very easy to navigate. Um, despite all the options that this keyboard has, um, it does a great job at keeping it looking simple and as, as uncomplicated as it can do, is what I would say. But it also looks great and it's really appealing to the eye. So that's good. So that's the main center hub there. Now let's move on to the side view of this keyboard. So it's light and compact, very thin, and has these nice rounded off edges here, which I really like that addition. Same on the other side, very nice. Let's have a look at the front view here. Not too deep at all, which is great. It means it can fit in small spaces. That's the front view there. Now 
Now I'll show you the back, which is one of the most important parts of the keyboard. So actually let's start from this side. So we have the, the Korg label, letting you know what the keyboard is. And then in the middle, is where everything happens. So you've got some information about what model the keyboard is. And then first thing you come across is the power plug in there, being a 19 volt plug-in, which I've got plugged in there. This will give you the power to the keyboard. Then you have an audio input, a foot controller, left and right audio outputs. If you wanna plug the keyboard into monitors or bigger speakers, USB to host and a USB to device to plug your laptop, computer or Android or Apple device to the keyboard and a headphone jack which allows you to play in silence without disturbing anyone else or any neighbors. So there's a back view. Cool, we've really done well at keeping to this neat, matte black, thin, compact, tidy looking finish, which I highly approve of. And then if we go underneath, apologies for the lighting. Lots of screws going on there, holding it all together. Not too much going on other than that. And then here is a very important part, because that is actually where the, the sustain pedal plugs in. As you can see, the keyboard actually comes with its own Korg sustain pedal, which has its special plug-in here. like so and you can see that that's the back of the keyboard there and then of course you have the mains going into the, the power over there nice and simply laid out not too complicated at all all around Great. There you go, that's the Korg XE20. Just give you one more 360 view there. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video useful. We'll leave a link in the description for this keyboard on our website. See you in the next video, bye for now.